Greetings, people. Wayne Hackman here, uh, aka Waxstar. Just wanted to firstly say a quick thank you. I put some Raspberry Pi to PBX tutorials up, um, very basic tutorials, but um, about three weeks ago, and they've just really been well responded to on the internet. I've had some good discussions with people, and I think it's been helpful. So I do appreciate you watching all of those series. I know that they were a bit technologically um, deep. Um, however, I just wanted to update you on the project and also talk a little bit about some of the things that I connect to my Raspberry Pi. Now, I have done a rebuild since doing that I want, and by tweaking the settings and um, putting a new um, version of free PBX up on there. But, however, everything that I said in those tutorials have been pretty true to form. I just wanted to show that this server, the, the, the Raspberry Pi, has been up for three weeks um, without any to any trouble at all um, it's running as you can see still running uh, four phones um, it's also got four trunks which is a, a local pot line or PSTN um, and then there's an international dialing out there's a Skype number from, for the UK and also it's connected to my work extension as well. So you can just see the Raspberry Pi sitting over there. It's, it's happy. Um, it's, it's connected to a UPS now. So if the power goes down, theoretically, I can make incoming calls. But that's part of the, um, part of the, the, the system, so to speak. I also um, connect. This is my work phone. This is a Snome 870 IP phone. So what I do is I configure that phone to talk uh, to the PBX uh, as uh, an extension. So this is my office extension. And if anybody calls me through the work line, it will just automatically call this. Um, we, we do have uh, a standard PSTN or a pot line coming from the local exchange. And the way I can get that talking to the um, the PBX is through this piece of equipment here. This is a Lynx voice gateway with router. Um, serial number SPA3102. That's SPA3102. Basically, this, this is a really clever little piece of equipment. There are lots of options to get your kind of external public line into your phone. Um, Digim, um, who I think are the ones that create Asterix, which is a core um, part of free PBX, have these um, uh, expansion boards that you can put into computers that allow you to have multiple lines. They roll into five, six hundred dollars a go, depending on how many lines you want into your computer. Ja uh, in the Chinese eBay market, you can get a knockoff for around $100, but I've been told that they're quite fragile. This is something that Linksys do, and it, it's um, um, there's some really useful um, ways of configuring this, and I'll put this in the links and descriptions below. But basically what this does is the external line plugs into this. Um, this then um, has the capability of connecting to it as a trunk. Um, so you do some configuration settings in this, and then basically your free PBX, or in my case, the little Raspberry Pi, will talk to this as if it's a digital trunk. So what happens is someone calls in, um, it rings twice and then picks up and then will then divert to the PBX and the PBX then manages the call. It's really cool. The only downfall is you can only have one incoming call at a time. You can only make one outgoing call at a time. But because I've set my PBX up, I make a lot of outgoing calls through um, uh, a voice over IP service. So this basically brings incoming calls, but also if there's a hurricane or something uh, happens, um, I know that um, that the extension that is connected to this will ring if all of the lines are down. And that's the other thing is also this is connected to as um, an additional IP phone. So you can connect this to a standard home phone that you have and set it up as an extension and ring that. So this, this actually is wired, goes upstairs to our guest room. 
and has a guest extension. And then if the power fails, um, it, it's the, the, the extension upstairs still rings. We have means of connecting to the outside world. The final piece of the puzzle is, and I have to take you through to my other office, is that I have a couple of phones in the house that connect to these little widgets here. These are grand stream devices. Um, this one is, um, you can have two different lines or two different extensions into this. Model number HT502, so that's grand stream HT502. And this basically turns a standard home phone like this one. Um, this is a, this, this phone can take two lines. Um, but basically what you can do is you can configure it to talk to your PBX and use any phone. So these are approximately about $30, $40 if you get them through, iTunes, um, through Amazon. Um, you can get single line ones for about $30. The Linksys router cost me, I think, between $50 and $60. All of this came off Amazon. Um, uh, the IP phone, that's worth about $200. Um, um, and then finally, the PBX, the whole build came to about uh, um, uh, $50. So it, you can make an inexpensive PBX home server quite well. You can see that this has been very, very reliable. Been running up for three weeks. The only time that I've restarted it is when I did a rebuild because I was curious and wanted to make some tweaks to the system. It, I didn't need to do that. It was working fine up until that point. Anyway, I appreciate you watching um, and um, thank you for watching all the PBX stuff. I hope this helps um, you make a decision to go to PBX. You obviously don't have to do it with a Raspberry Pi. Um, a Raspberry Pi is good for a home basis and you can probably have half a dozen extensions working quite well for it. If you wanted to do something bigger like run an office and have lots of extensions, I'd advise you to do something like a, 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 a modern PC. But again, you can set that up fairly inexpensively. Again, I'd love to answer any questions. Um, uh, please rate, subscribe to all of the things that YouTuber do and more importantly, have one on me. Thank you.